Chapter 8, Mishnah 6. This Mishnah teaches some of the general rules of harems. It begins with a rule regarding Kohanic harems. Kohanic harems cannot be redeemed. That is, once a person declares his property a Kohanic harem, he cannot redeem the item and give the money to the Kohen. Rather, the items themselves must be given to the Kohanim. The same as with Tiroma. When a person separates Tiroma from his prop, he cannot redeem it and give the money to a Kohen. He must give the Tiroma itself. So too with the harem. A person must give the item he declared a harem to the Kohen and cannot redeem it and give him the money instead. Usually when a person makes a harem, he specifies whether he is making a Kohanic harem or a harem to the temple treasury. The Mishnah now discusses the law where a person did not specify which type of harem he was making. Rabbi Huda ben Becerra says, unspecified harems go to the temple treasury, as it says in Vayikra chapter 28, verse 28, any harem is most holy to Hashem. This implies that any harem, harem even an unspecified one, is given to Hashem, i.e. to the temple treasury. The sages disagree, but the sages say unspecified harems go to the Kohanim, as it says in regard to ancestral field that were consecrated and not redeemed by the owner, Vayikra chapter 27, verse 21. The field, when it goes out at Yovel, shall be like a harem field, to Kohen, it shall be his ancestral heritage. This implies that the ordinary harem field is a Kohanic harem. The sages continue. If so, why does it say in the verse cited by Rabbi Yehuda ben Becerra, any harem is most holy to Hashem, which implies that unspecified harems are given to Hashem, the temple treasury. It is to teach you that a harem takes effect even on animals that have been designated as korbanos, whether they are in the category of Kodesh Kodashim, most holy offerings such as an Ola, or in the category of Kodashim Kalim, offerings of less holiness such as Shalamim. Although a person cannot normally declare chelm, chelm on something that he does not fully own, as we learn in Mishnah 5, and a korban does not fully belong to the person who consecrated it, this verse teaches that korbanos are an exemption to this rule. Even though korbanos are, that are most holy to Hashem, kodesh kodashim, even those korbanos that are most holy to Hashem, kodesh kodashim, a person may declare chelm on his korbanos, and the declaration takes effect in a way described in the next Mishnah.